Hey, what's up, guys? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Let me know if you hear me. Give me some quick feedback. Um, give me some feedback. If you hear me and see me, type in the chat. What's going on? What's going on? Can you guys hear me? I want to make sure the audio is good before I continue. Okay, all good. Great. So I'm a little behind on my work today. Um, what I could do is just turn this into a, a live stream, me continue working on the car. I'm not going to be able to talk to you and tell you what I'm doing because I'm going to have my mask on. I'm going to have tools in my hand and stuff. Uh, we could do that, but I'll go in the shop right now. I'm all dusty. I got, I've got. i been working on this thing for a couple of hours. And uh, let's see. Greetings, Body Shop, Compton, California. What's up? What's up? All right, so we'll go into the shop where I'm listening to my reggae music. <laughs> okay, and I'll show you what's going on here. I haven't got to the filler stage yet. What's up, Ferrari boy, VIP in the house? Um, I got to the almost filler stage. Um, basically got to blow it off and put some filler on it now. That's where I'm at. I have to sand this last piece down right here. Okay, I have to actually hammer this little piece out right here. Hammer this out. Uh, otherwise, everything's pretty much getting to be sanded. What's up, first-timer VIP from Albany, Georgia? Awesome. Everything's all pulled out. I'm actually in the middle of doing all of this work right now. Hey, Tony, Jay here, first timer VIP. What's up, Jay? Nice to see you on. First timer. Your head cam is really cute. Kentucky, Algeria. Awesome. That's great. Okay. So this is not going to be as clear as when we're shooting it when we're shooting it on the HD video. But basically, I pulled everything out. Okay, it's ready for filler. This section in here, this is all done. I'm sanding this all out. Uh, we got this piece ready for filler right in here. Okay, everything's pretty much ready. I just gotta blow it out and lay some putty on it. So you guys want me to lay some putty on here? What's up, Hank? Fort Worth, Texas, what's going on, Brian? Thanks for getting on, everybody. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so I am just gonna kinda get to some body work, is that okay? I'll do a little bit of body work and then we'll do some Q&A. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna be able to um, talk much because I'm going to have this on. I'm going to be hammering and all this other good stuff, all right? So we'll just do some body work. Yeah, the atom is awesome. All right. Okay, I have some 80 grit on here.
Yo, so remember I had that. Hold on. This is the Hero 5. Anyway, you remember I had the... Uh, Oh, thanks for the thumb down, by the way. Maybe you shouldn't come on next time. All right, so you can see how we had a big hole over here in the crack in the side of this bumper cover here, right? And I just epoxied it a little while ago. Let me kind of see how that looks. Okay, we're just going to, after this dries and sets up, we're gonna just put some filler in all this whole area here. Okay, I uh, welded some plastic in here with epoxy. So that's gonna set up really nicely, take care of that hole, that chip, 
right? And we're just gonna fill it with filler and we'll be all good, okay? Same all in here, we're gonna sand all this down with like about 100, 150 grit, get it nice and smooth. And then uh, put some body filler on it. What's up, Wayne Walker, VIP first timer. Thanks for getting on tonight. Will the filler ever crack? No, it's not going to crack if you don't bump something else. If you hit something hard, it'll crack. If you leave it as is and you, and you take care of it like you take care of a car, it's never, never going to crack. You could put fiberglass. You don't have to. You could just epoxy it. You could epoxy plastic in there. I just didn't want to get into the fiber class ordeal just for that tiny little spot. Yo, yo, yo. All right. So do you guys want me to actually mix some filler and do some filler? Like, like fill all this stuff up with filler right now? Or what do you think? What are we doing here tonight? Um, not all of my spots are ready for filler. Most of them are. I would say 80% of the truck's ready for filler. Okay, well, how, many, how much battery I got? Okay, I got enough battery. See, I'm on my laptop. The filler does flex, yes. And it depends on what kind of filler you get. What's up, Matt? Everybody, Matt here, he's a funny dude, man. I like Matt. Kevin is cool, too. But Matt is one funny dude. If you watch his review videos, that brother's funny. Can everybody see? Okay. No, you don't need no flex agent when painting that. Paint is already flexible. Unless you're doing like dirt bike flaps, quad panels, you don't need flex agent on like regular car parts. I've used it, I've not used it, same ass results, okay? Meaning I've actually hit stuff with my bumper cover, not using flex agent, no cracks. I will be painting this with the Atom X20. Um, now, we're pretty much sold out on the Atom X21 1.4 tip. Um, I think people are underestimating the X20. The gun is just as good. The only thing, um, the gun is not waterborne. And uh, <laughs> waterborne, it's not dual purpose. It's just a solvent-based spray gun. But the gun is freaking amazing. So I may be doing... I'll probably do the base with the Atom X20 and then I'll clear coat with X21 just to show you the, um, from, you know, show you both of the guns. All right. So here we go. I'll mix up a little putty and we'll just, we'll go from there. All right. I'll mix up some putty. I'm going to be using some Z-Grip. Supposed to be good shit. We'll see. All right, we'll lay some putty and do what we got to do. This thing flew off the other day, and I found it. I just heard ping, 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 ping. All right. Pay attention. Super important. Super important.
Okay. Some people say, shit, did I just have this on record? Okay. Some people say, I forgot what the hell I was going to say. Anyway, super important. Mix your filler every time you open a can. Well, on a brand new can especially. Okay? Sometimes you have glaze on top. This one, there's no glaze. Looks perfectly okay. But I'm going to mix it anyway. I always use a paint stir. Thank you, Victor. Keep on knocking, but you can't come in. So I'm just going to mix it up quickly. Oh, this is some creamy filler, man. This is some creamy shit. I like it already. Make some pancakes with this. Wow, looking good. Okay. Let me use a clean section of this glass. Is the Bondo brand filler any good? Um, well, honestly, that's all my dad used to use 20 years ago. And then uh, Rage came out and all, this other, all these other brands. So I assume it's good, but a lot of people will use Rage. Uh, Evercoat, good stuff. Okay, so let's see. I got my HD camera on right here as well. Okay, so we're going to hit the door. We're going to hit up some of these areas and just lay some filler on it. Okay? Okay, so let's do it. I'll just put this up here. Can everybody see? I don't think I'm going to need that much filler. Yeah, maybe, maybe I will. I'll just make this much for now. Okay, your hardener, always mix it up before you open it up. Yo, Cecil, did you get in yet? Did my girls get you in VIP? I saw that you created that ticket. They should be taking care of you tonight, definitely for sure. Okay, my father's rule, for every golf ball for every golf ball size of filler, right, you're going to put about eight, six to eight drops of hardener. Don't worry, Cecil. They'll get you in, all right? They probably just have some backlogs of some tickets and stuff. Don't worry. You'll be on. Okay, so we have probably about four golf balls here, four or five golf balls. So I'm just going to add some. And if you add too much, it's going to harden really quickly. If you don't add enough, it's going to take longer to dry. If you really don't add enough, then you're going to have a problem. It's never going to freaking dry. Then you got to scrape it back off, right? So I don't want to add too much because I'm dealing, I'm talking to you guys and I'm trying to work it. So I'm just going to put that much. That actually might be too much, but I would rather it dry hard than not enough. Okay, I got two size squeegees here. I think I'm going to use the bigger one. And uh, we're going to get Walmart Bondo usually sells Bondo brand. And it's, it's not bad. I've used it many times. It is, uh, you know, they have their hardeners red. Usually it's red. What's up, Austin? VIP for three weeks. First time watching live. Of course I'm live. I'm live on the spot right now. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna lay filler on all these spots. Shit, I need to sand up here a little bit more. So here's one thing, one tip here. You see these grooves down here? I, I don't want to get any filler in them. I kind of want to keep those grooves. I'm not going to fill them up. So save us a little blood, sweat, and tears. I'm just going to put some tape around it. Okay, so I don't get filled. This is where we got to do most of the body work anyway, not up in here. So we're just going to fill in this area. All right? Okay, so let's mix up. Let's get you a little closer. Okay. Hold on, guys. Okay, let's mix this up. I think that's about good. God, this stuff is creamy. Okay. Let's lay it. We're going to have to uh, redo this hole here and go over another pass. It's still low, right? Let's go inside.
Sometimes you gotta leave good enough, good enough alone, okay? Remember that. If you keep screwing with it, sometimes you screw it up. All right, I gotta actually hit some of the big spots around the car. This is gonna be tough because I'm moving you guys along with me. Shit. Okay, let's go around. Might be getting darker. Ah, shit. Harden up quick. Check it out. Harden up quick. So we got like this much left over, not too bad. If I wasn't talking to you guys, I probably would have had it done, so it's all your fault. <laughs> I got to blame somebody. Well, we only have this piece here, and I think a small piece on the other side. That's the thing with, uh, that's the thing with, um, a body filler you're gonna have to go a couple of times yeah I'm mixing on glass because you can clean it with a razor blade very easy and I'll show you actually this is this is uh, an insider an old insider trick. Old insider trick from old school days, my pops. You do your body work in Bondo on glass. This way, it's super easy to clean when you're done. And this is a shitty, but check this out. If you do it on wood or whatever, you gotta throw it out sometimes. But here, check this out. You clean it on a glass board like this. I use cardboard once in a while too, but. I haven't cleaned this table in a long time, but. See all the crap I have on it. I wish I kept my dad's bondo board. It was like a thick, like three-quarter inch piece of square glass. It was awesome. You want rags? You use old underwear. You know the Bondo is getting hard when it feels really hot. It's very hot right now. And then you could just peel it off, no problem. I should have left it on a little longer and in a chunk. This way it would have peeled off clean. No, you won't contaminate anything. So look how nice it cleaned up. All right, so I'm not going to bore you guys with, uh, with doing more Bondo on here. I'll just do that later. 
But we got a nice first coat on this section. Uh, we got to do this section down here. We got to go around the rest of the truck and finish it up. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, maybe we'll take it to Q&A for five minutes or so, and uh, we'll call it a night. Well, I've never had any problems with cardboard, mixing with cardboard. My dad died a long time ago, man. <laughs> My dad died back in, like, 2011. So, it happens. Well, if it cracks, then sometimes it will crack, but most of the times it doesn't. If it does crack, you're going to have to sand that area anyway. So, you sand the crack out. You make sure there's no crackiness in there. And then you hit it with another coat of Bondo because you're going to have to hit it with Bondo anyway after you tap it down low. So, but most times, 90% of the time, it's not going to crack unless you have some super thick filler or if you didn't do a good job in sanding the panel behind it where it's not sticking, it's just going to crack right off, right? So, so that's that. So guys, um, if you like the show tonight, give a quick thumbs up right down there. Hit the thumbs up. And for all you newbies watching, if you want to grab an 85-page auto body manual, you know where to go right over here. Click that button later on. Not right now, but later there's going to be a button here and down there to get a free auto body manual. Tony, did you end up selling that red Beamer or still have it? That car is nice. I still have it. I had an offer for I think it was 16.5 or 17, and I, I wanted more, and I didn't sell it. Um, if I scuff good paint, do I need 2K primer? No. If you scuff good paint, I mean, you could, if, you could, if the paint is in good condition, if your paint is in good condition, um, you could just sand it with 400 grit, and that'll be a good foundation to lay a new, co new color on it. All right? So you're good. Your, your pops lives through you and us now. He does. And I used to grow my pinky nail out, and that was one big thing that I used to do a lot um, to dig out bugs and Bondo or you know, use, use my pinky to get masking tape in areas in the cars. And that's what I did for a long time. But because of stupid YouTube comments over the years, over the years, years and years, oh, look at his Coke nail. Oh, blah, blah, blah. It's so fucking stupid. It pisses me off that I cut my pinky nail off because it was just ridiculous. Plus, now that I also go to business events and um, I'm – kind of in the professional world as well. And I'm in suits and stuff, uh, dealing with people. You know, I, I cut my nail off. So the guide is free, Raul. It is free. It's free download. You get it emailed to your email box. Unless you're just screwing around with everybody here. Can you paint weather stripping? Yeah. You could paint weather stripping, but it's going to chip right off. Why would you do that? Can you spray waterborne on top of original paint prepped and sanded? Yes, of course. Of course. Thank you, Kev. Awesome feedback, everybody. Well, you go to learnautobodyandpaint.com, and there's a free download that I give you once you enter your email. I send you the download link. All right. And also, guys, VIP is the VIP auto body course that I document everything that I do. I show you the goof-ups. Um, I show you how to fix the goof-ups. I show you everything step by step. And this truck is going to be in there um, probably. This will be done this month, so it will be there first weeks of September. It'll, this will be in VIP. All right? And you're going to see everything step by step. Um, I talked to my daughter, and we, we decided, and I talked to some people today um, on here today. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. 
and everybody said silver, silver at the bottom with rainbow flake. So I may do rainbow flake. I appreciate you, Brian. Tony, did I sell my BMW? I did not. Good work, Tony. I'm body painting now because of you, bro. That is awesome. What's up, Kevin? Give me another, uh, shoot me, shoot me another question. What do you use to glue the window back into the window track? What do you use to, to glue the window back into the window track? Well, usually there is a, a special rubber, like a weather stripping that goes on the bottom that your window sits inside of. So I don't know what you're talking about. I've never really glued a window back into a window track. It's usually screwed on at the very bottom and tightened up. Did you already have the drawing for the spray gun yet? Yes, we picked names out. What, what, okay, now what are you talking about? Because we do them every once in a while. Papa Juan, hit refresh. Tech guns any good? Tech, I don't know. I've never really used them. I, I know the Atom guns are awesome, and I'll show you some of the guns in the office. Okay, damn, we're getting a lot of questions. Um, how do you paint under the weather strip to prevent peeling? Okay, so you basically take the weather strip off. And that's what I did here. All the weather stripping is off. Okay, I got to take the weather stripping off down here. Okay, and this comes off. There's little clips here, but if you just pull it one way, push it, and pull it out, it just comes right out. Look, you just pull. They come right out. And then you take these out. You put them on here, and then you can snap them back in. Sometimes they break, and you got to buy it. You got to buy some. Okay. Adam Gunn spray demo coming very soon. I got to make new videos on this project. So let's go into the office really quickly. Oh, nice and cool here. Check out all these guns that I have on my floor, including the Adams. Can you see that? Okay, so Kevin says, remove spoiler. Do you hit those holes down before applying Bondo to cover the holes? Is a low spot more ideal? Yes, you could hit it down very lightly, Kev, just around the hole very little bit. Put something behind it so when you fill it, okay, you have some thickness to it, okay? And then fill the top, block it flat, 2K primer it, 400 block sand it, and check for imperfections. If you need to, you could add some glaze on top of that, hit it with primer, and then water sand it 400. You're good for paint. Um, can you flake over single stage like a can you flake over single stage like a light flake, not heavy? Yeah, of course. Why not? You could also clear on top of that. Can you paint the car in sections? Yes, absolutely, you can. But I wouldn't do a custom paint job in sections because it's going to be hard for color matching. If you're doing a single, like a, a color that you're not mixing pearls or flakes or candy, then um, yeah, no problem. Uh, CISO, it's on a Dodge Dakota and you have a little track that glues to the window. That's interesting. I would go to. I would check out, there's something called emblem adhesive glue. It's a really strong glue. I'm not sure if I'd want to use that, though. Maybe not. Um, Dodge Dakota. Glues to, man, I've never heard of that, Cecil. That's interesting. Maybe check, uh, check glue for windows, glue for automotive windows on Google. Do some Googling. Um, Tony, should I put my 55... Back in the truck. Back together to paint. You could paint it in pieces if you want. Like I said, body hammer, specific brand. Not really. Whatever, whatever you can afford. It's just a body hammer. 
There's a whole bunch of brands out there. TCP Global has a whole bunch of them. One guy's X21 is sputtering out the box. What does that mean? Thank you, Tony. Okay. I did not know you can wet sand body filler because I did a paint job and it had scratches. Well, you don't wet sand body filler. You wet sand primer. Tony, can you apply single stage on top of base coat, clear coat, just to repair a small section? You can, but why would you do that? Does VIP demonstrate how to buff a car after a paint job? Yes, absolutely it does. VIP has over 100 hours of step-by-step -step videos that take you through all the auto body process. So here is a link to VIP if you want to check that out. I just put a link in there. Um, what kind of light do you use to light the side of cars? Fluorescent lights. I got fluorescent lights all over my shop. Except for Nico brand hammers, they're ter terrible quality. Well, to be honest, guys, I've never bought hammers. <laughs> All the hammers that I have are like some of the hammers my dad gave me over the years and the leftover of my dad's stuff. So all of my hammers are literally 30 years old, most of them. So... If I have to, you know, we just replace the handles every once in a while, right? But I got a whole bunch of body hammers. This one is probably 40 years old, 35, 40 years old. My dad got this hammer when he started body work. And this handle looks pretty old too. Pretty cool. And I got a whole bunch of other body hammers around the shop here somewhere. These, these are good hammers here. All right. Anyway, guys, it's 845 Central. I got to head out. I got to clean up. I got a mess here. I got to clean up. Um, and then my kids, my kids are waiting for me. All right. Is an explosion-proof fan, extraction fan? Nope. People are just paranoid. You're not going to blow up your shop with a, a regular box fan or a industrial fan that I have in the back there. People are paranoid. A lot of people are paranoid. Um, this is a lighting from my, from my studio that I usually use in my green screen room when I'm making videos. So I have one of them out here. I got two more inside. So these are just photography lighting that I use. So it actually helps when I do body, you know, the YouTube live and stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to head out, guys. Cecil, you should hear back from support tonight. Um, and I will talk to you soon. No, I've actually, he, he, like, tried to mail my friend Pete, but I don't think he likes me because I never hear back from him. I tried a few years ago saying what's up. Um, you know, we should connect, but he never like really acknowledged me or wanted to meet me. I don't know. <laughs> so I just said, fuck it. <laughs> you know, like I'm a pretty friendly guy if, if you want, you know, but whatever. Peace out guys. For all you newbies, click right there to get the free 85 page auto body manual. I'll see you guys on next week, Thursday night, 8 PM central. By that time, this thing will probably be pretty much body worked and ready for primer or primered out. All right. Have a good night. Hit the like button before you head out, and I will see you. I'll probably be doing a live stream this weekend um, on here just for like 10 minutes showing you like the update or whatever. All right. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for getting on, guys. Cheers. Have a good night. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for coming on.